the best thing, the best thing in this life we can do, if you haven't done it yet, give your life over to the Most High God. I know a lot of people don't believe in the Bible, say the Bible is a myth, the Bible is no good. But let them believe what they want to believe. Because whether they believe it or not, this holy word is showing us what time it is. The holy word, the holy scriptures are revealing. The Holy Spirit is showing us whether you want to believe or not. Last night was a very, very powerful live chat. And I want to give a shout out to everybody in the live chat. All our brothers and sisters that are so faithful commenting, you know who you are. And then I want to thank Brother Anthony, Brother Rain, Sister Queen, Rika, Sister Pam. We miss Brother Demarcus and AD and Brother Amos. I just got through commenting back to you. Special thanks to all of y'all, everybody. There are so many people dying on a daily basis who die and lost. There are so many people, even in the church building, are so spiritually lost. The best thing you can do is stop playing. I don't know how, how many times Sister Pam said it last night, <laughs> but I'm gonna say it for you one more time, Sister Pam, as you told us last night. Stop playing with your soul. Stop gambling with your soul when you don't know when you're gonna take your last breath. When you give your life over to the most high, I didn't say it was going to be easy. But the benefits you will be gaining, even though it don't seem, even let me say it like this, even though it don't feel good all the time, you're going to lose some people very close to you. You're going to lose some family members. You're going to lose some friends. You're going to lose some coworkers. But I'm going to tell you this. Don't worry about who you lose. Look at what you are gaining. So many people are more concerned about this life that they, they, they're not even concerned about the afterlife. Teach Holy Spirit. It was just laid heavy in my spirit to do this video because I'm still rejoicing and, and, and thinking about the last night live chat as Brother Rain crocked up with me on the phone yesterday. If the righteous, I'm going to say it again, Brother Rain. If the righteous is scarcely saved. Hmm, scarcely. What does that say about the one? That's the, the sinner. Hmm, the ones that willfully sin. See, it don't matter how good we think we are. Even on our best day, we still got work to do. We all are still in this flesh. And as long as we are in this flesh, we got a battle. We got a battle. Oh, but as Ephesians 6 teaches us, 11 and 12, you, if you just get off of Ephesians, it teaches you that this battle is not against flesh and blood, but it's a principalities, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places. You gotta keep the whole armor on. We got to put on the whole armor of the Most High. The best thing we can do is give our life over to the Most High. The worst thing we can do is die and not giving our life over. As we spoke about a little bit last night, that second death, the grave will be judged. At that moment, if your name is not in the book of life, ain't no need to talk about going to heaven. While you are living right now, the time is now. While you're still breathing, I don't care who you are, what race you are, what, what sin you're dealing with, I love you enough to tell you the truth. I'm like, Paul, I am concerned about my brothers and sisters out here. 
If you haven't done it, time is now. I'm going to get all the way real with you. You don't need no music. You don't need five verses up there. You don't need no no preacher standing out there with his hand like this. I'm talking about, what am I saying? You ain't have to wait on no Sunday morning. Because, as Brother Anthony Hall said last night, that ain't even promise. We think we got so much time in this life. Somebody didn't make last Sunday. They died. Somebody didn't make today. So will you come? Don't let this moment pass you by. I wrote an old song called, Will You Come? Holy Spirit is waiting on you. Don't let this moment pass you by. You can't get ready on your own. You, you've been trying that. So the worst thing you can do is die leaving here not knowing the Holy Spirit. The best thing you can do is know the Holy Spirit. Give your life over to the Holy Spirit. Don't worry about the naysayers because one day as I close, one day every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess that he is the most high. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful blessed day. Shalom.